Hi, it's Fraser Malcolm here and quite often I get asked uh, how do I flick the ball up when we're picking up practice balls or something like that um, and I want to show you how to do that. It's not that difficult um, but you do need to know a couple of things before you start trying to do it. So what I'm talking about is this, doing that, right? So it obviously saves your back when you're picking balls up. Um, the concept of what you're actually doing first of all so what you're doing is you're putting that edge, that right hand sort of toe edge, trying to press that down under the ball slightly and then scoop it up. So it's a bit like a chisel going in. So it's like that going in, you're sort of prising it up out of the thing. I wouldn't suggest going around and try to pick back this balls up with a chisel because that'll take you a while. But um, it's it's not actually as hard as you think. It's it's in there. I need a fair amount of pressure, um, and then just forward and up. But what I'm doing is, if you look there, so you're not running around after it, because you kind of when you first try this, if you put it just out in front of you like this, you'll be running about after it. What what you sort of learn to do as you practice this and get better at it is you have it almost behind you so that as you're flicking it up it's coming to the middle of your body and you're never really getting out here after it so I put it back near my sort of right foot and then the club's leaning forward there weights forward so like a golf lesson this and uh, then I'm going down and back and up like that. I wasn't trying to pick that one up by the way, that was, that was deliberate. And uh, so yeah, the grip actually is quite important if you look at it. So if you look at it from front on, I'm holding it like that. So I can see the entirety of the back of my hands. So you can see all the knuckles. So it's a really weak grip in golf. It's not, not I wouldn't advise playing golf like this. So that would be normal. And then that's how I pick it, how you grip it for flicking it up. I'm also gripping quite far down the shorter you make the club, kind of the easier it is. Um, some people scoop it in a one hour without flicking it. I find that slightly more stressful, if you watch. That worked quite well, but I, I sometimes find I'm not quite as good with that. If I did it all the time, I'd probably just get into it and do it like that. But I find that one just a bit more relaxed and a bit easier to flick up into the um, into the air. Um, so that is basically it. You're leaning, you've got it back, you've got the toe edge there, and we've got the club forward a bit, and then I'm going back like that and up. I'll try and put a slow motion one after this just to show you. Um, but before we do that, let's give you at least a laugh at me trying to pick it up with other clubs, because that's a sand wedge I'm using, which is quite easy, it's got a lot loft on it. An eight iron shouldn't be too hard he says yeah that's all right four iron might be a different story so you might get a laugh at this yep that's what i thought oh could have caught that yes but as you can see it's a bit it's a bit frantic and then this, we'll try it with that. 18 degree staff utility model. Not the ideal picker upper club. Oh, so hard to get under it. Oh, hit myself in the head. I had it as well, I panicked. <laughs> Come on. Oh. See, I told you. Oh, had it as well. Had it in my hands. Whew. Yes. Yes. But that doesn't look as cool walking around the practice ground doing that as it does flicking it up with a wedge like I showed you at the start. Okay, so that'll do you. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Me running around the garden trying to pick, flick it up with a two iron. If there's any questions or anything, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Cheers.